Hi, I'm Armila Kukreja, Director of Product at Smartsheet. I lead our AI initiatives. And JB Brown, VP of Engineering at Smartsheet. I'll ask you first. Okay. Sorry, this question made me laugh because we talked about this. If you could have an AI assistant for any one task in your life, what would it be? <laughs> so I hate, I get so frustrated trying to match up the Tupperware lid to the Tupperware that I end up giving up and like letting my wife figure it out. And so I would love for a solution for that or something that just magically made the right Tupperware container and lid on, on the spot. I think it's a really good one. I also think it's a while before AI solved oh, that for you. Uh, I, yep, mine printing. was going to be laundry, but I also think it's a while before AI is all figuring that. Yeah. All of it? Well, all of it. Like, I think there's an agent to do the laundry, another one to start drying it, <laughs> fold it, put it away. All of it is taken care of. Yeah. All right. Most creative thing you've done with generative AI to date? The most creative thing. It's like a funny thing maybe that happened. We tried to do my... Um, daughter's birthday cards she's yeah. she's 10 and she's a swifty and i think we were like oh we're gonna make these like sleepover birthday cards and she also loves dogs so i feel like we really messed up the prompt there when we said like hey just come up with something with taylor swift and dogs and you can imagine it like we messed up on our prompt engineering yeah. there which was which was a good lesson for both of us but it was it was a fun creative exercise i would say the thing that happens in our house that's most creative is the made up bedtime stories the ai agent made up made up bedtime stories where my 9 year old and my 13 year old fill in the blanks and then my wife somehow tells these crazy nonsensical stories without laughing i don't know how she does it but she just reads right through it it's crazy what unexpected benefits or use cases have emerged since implementing Amazon Q and how are you capitalizing on these discoveries? What's been unexpected is not just the time savings, but also how our global workforce has been able to take advantage of this. So we're, we're primarily focused on Pacific time, but we do have um, we, we do have a presence in Australia and other parts of, 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 of the world. Um, and I think one of one of the power users of Q actually is a CSM in Australia who, as she was onboarding, um, she felt like she had this personal assistant helping her answer all kinds of questions about Smartsheet um, that, that helped her serve her customers better. The other one that I don't think we've fully capitalized on, but has been about, um, you actually pointed it out to us, where you can ask a question in a language yes. and you get a response in that language. Yeah. So Smartsheet is, is internationalized and it's it's available in over 50 languages, yeah. uh, but that's the experience and the interface. The content you put in it is in the language you put the content in. That's so right. the expectation generally is like if your sheet's written in German, it's meant for a German audience and it, it doesn't translate the content for you. Uh, one of the things we noticed is if, if that sheet that was in German, if I happen to ask a question of it, say in Hindi, which is a language I understand, um, the response would come back to me in Hindi or yeah. or, or English, which is another language yeah. I understand. I agree with you. It was fascinating to see that in the data the first, yeah. the first time I realized, oh, someone's getting answers in French, even though all of the content that we put in is in English. Yeah. And it was just a light bulb moment for international expansion that we had this, this unexpected value that we were more ready than we thought. Yeah. You mentioned the person that was onboarding. Uh, that that new employee within two weeks was one of the highest users of Q Business because she was typing in pretend scenarios that she thought a customer would ask of her, or maybe it was something similar to what was asked of her, like a whole scenario. How do I use Smartsheet for, uh, I don't know, like real estate industry for this use case? Yeah. And it would give her all of the features and how you would stitch it together. So she's doing self-guided onboarding to our company. It was awesome. Hello. Yes. Cool. All right. You ready? Can you discuss any custom development or modifications made to Amazon Q to better suit Smartsheet's needs? Yeah, this one's pretty easy because the answer is none. <laughs> like we pretty much used it out of the box. Uh, the custom development we had to do was outside of Q business, actually. It was it, it's really easy to go through the Adibus console and set it up and uh, like the first thing that we added was a web crawler. So you, you pick content that you want to put into your Q business app. And we just picked web crawler and we pointed at our, our public help documentation, um, that our customers would use to understand Smartsheet. Now you've got a Q business app. 
right? That's it. It's really easy. Uh, the thing that we did have to do was work with our IDP and understand how our identity provider that we use for um, corporate authentication uh, would properly integrate with Q Business. Not the Q Business side, but we had to stand that up to make sure that that app was secure with our corporate um, authentication and authorization systems, which is one of the huge values of Q Business because it's your internal knowledge, which is private, mm -hmm. and you want to keep it private and secure. It's in your AWS account, and so it's the data at rest is secure. Uh, but you also want access to be secure. So we, we had to do that part. wasn't that big of a deal, but was something we had to work at. Ermelo, that was an awesome conversation. Thank you for telling everybody about Smartsheet's use of Amazon Q. Where are we going from here? What does the partnership look like? Um, we, we have a wonderful partnership with Amazon. You know, they're a customer of ours. We're a customer of theirs. A lot of our workloads run on, on AWS. We G8 Smartsheet connector for Amazon Q at the conference. We've seen good adoption of it so far. And what I'm really excited about is bringing that experience within the Smartsheet experience next so people can stay within the Smartsheet experience, get answers, unlock insights from all of their data in Smartsheet, while also getting data that may not necessarily be in Smartsheet and, and not having to know where it sits organizationally. So bringing all that power within your Smartsheet experience is what I'm excited about. Me too, can't wait. 